My favorite fight was the second time I fought Noguera. His triangle is what he was really known for in the early 2000s. I'm like, he's older now, you know, his late 30s at the time. I'm like, I don't know if his triangle is what it used to be, but we've seen him choke people out with the guillotine. That's still world class. Let's then get stuck in a guillotine and we'll go through our guillotine defenses in case it happens. Okay, cool. So now imagine I'm in this fight. Here I get caught, I'm rocked. And then he decides to go ahead and slap me in a submission. So he throws the guillotine on and pulls guard and locks it on. And I'm like, oh shit, I'm fine. 45 seconds into this fight, I am almost had the fight stopped and now I'm in his number one submission getting the fucking shit choked out of me and the room's closing down, you know what I mean? And like, I was able to persevere through that fight and broke his arm in nine different places, you know what I mean? Like, I didn't sit there and go, how do I win? I always tell people like, dude, that's too big of a fucking jump. Literally, it was step by step. I'm like, all right, turn my head to the side, get the choke off my carotid artery. All right, cool. All right, he's off balance a little bit. Let me see if I can tap his knee. Boom, oh, look, oh, he's stepping out the back door. Let me see if I can jump over. It was just, what's the, what do I have to do right now at this moment?